What's up, world? This is Ellis at the Playtime Woods of PlaytimeCares.com, giving you your full NXT recap. NXT, exclusively on the WWE Network. This one is NXT 349, happened August 17, 2016, Full Sail University, Orlando, Florida. Tom Phillips, Corey Graves, all your commentators. Um, they started off the show letting you know that there will be an interview between the NXT champion, Samoa Joe, and the number one contender for the NXT championship, Shinsuke Nakamura. First match, and this is one of two, match one of two. You had Hideo Itami versus Mustafa Ali out of Pakistan. You had Japan versus Pakistan. You know, Ali, he showed off a lot of uh, good agility. And um, he was, um, you know, he had a lot of cool maneuvers where he dove through the ropes and used the ropes as, uh, you know, as, as a second uh, man in the ring, you know, it's kind of like his partner. Um, they both did, you know, Deo and Ali, they both did a lot of cool maneuvers towards each other, but the crowd never really got into the match. It was pretty much, okay, well, I'm going to show you that I can do this move. But it really, the continuity to really get the crowd involved never really happened. So the match was a two out of five. Match ended with a running knee from Hideo, and um, you know he got the pin. Match two out of five, they said. Then they uh, announced that uh, they will have a six woman tag team match, um, and they told you who the uh, competitors were. And then they gave a uh, Bobby Roode versus CN, you know, Andrade. Alma's um, montage. Next, NXT gave a shout out to the group Neck Deep for their song Serpents. That's one of the official theme songs for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2. And then they did an Oscar versus Bailey montage. And then they showed Carmella, Liv Morgan, and Nikki Glenn Cross warming up. That's three of the six people in a six women's tags match tonight. Then you did a of Mice and Men relentless video montage that incorporated all of the matches uh, outside of Oscar versus Bailey and outside of Samoa Joe versus Shinsuke. They incorporated all of the other matches that are supposed to take place at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. And then they showed Alexa Bliss um, Mandy Rose and Daria Baradato warming up. That's the other three competitors in the six women's tag team match. Then they gave a shout out to Banks and Steels for their song Giant, which is another official song for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2. And then when they show William Regals and he's talking about how good of a show that NXT Brooklyn 2 would be. And, the, uh, you know, the first one was a success and they're looking forward to the success and it's going to be the best um, uh, NXT pay-per-view ever. And then uh, Billy Kay interrupts him and be like, wait a minute, how is this supposed to be the best takeover ever if you don't have me wrestling? You know, I was on SmackDown just a month ago. You, it, In order for this to be legitimate, I need to be wrestling. Well, Riga was like, you know what? You're right. I have just an opponent for you. This Saturday, you'll face Ember Moon. Your second and final match was a six-woman tag team match. It was Liz Morgan, Nikki Glenn Close, Carmella versus Daria Baronato, Mandy Rose, and Alexa Bliss. Slow action. I mean, they were doing moves and then kind of wait for the reaction of the competitor, then kind of play to the crowd a little bit, then do a move. It was really, really nothing continuous about it. Started off really, really slow. Crowd wasn't even really into it. You know, they didn't really engage that much into the match. It wasn't really into the match. But they ended the match pretty strong. They were doing semi-strong moves on each other to clear everybody out of the ring. And then the final two competitors was Carmella and, um, and Mandy Rose. And Mandy Rose went for a finisher on Carmella and Carmella actually reversed it into the cold of silencer and made Rose uh, tap out. So that match was only a two out of five. It was an average match. Then they cut away to William Regal with um, a whole bunch of security guards and some more Joe sitting on the chair by himself. No Shinsuke yet for the interview. 
And uh, William Regal told him, look, if anybody get off the seats or it look like they're getting high style, make sure you're getting in between them. He told that to the security. Then he went over to Samoa Joe and asked him, hey, do you know why it is that I, I chose to uh, do this, why I had to have security? And Joe laughed and was like, yeah, I know why. After the match, they cut away to Ember Moon promo. They showed that again. Then they did an NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2 recap of all of the matches that they were going to have. And then they cut away to Byron Saxton, and he's in between the champion Samoa Joe and the challenger uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. And I mean, you should see the interview itself, but I give you the gist of it. Samoa Joe pretty much said his issue was is that he's being disrespected by the general manager William Regal, and he mentioned the fact that when Bailey wanted a, a match with with Oscar, the women's champ. Regal check with Oscar. He didn't just didn't make a match. So he said, it seems like William Regal have an issue with me. And um the you know, you have, you know, both competitors answering questions and Samoa Joe started pretty much asking Shinsuke, do you think this is funny? Are you taking me serious? And then you know he you know, he snapped and then said, you know what, I'm gonna beat you know, I'm going to beat respect into you. So, of course, um, he hops up and uh, the security guard did get, get in front of him and they were able to make sure they didn't attack each other. And Will Regal escorted Shinsuke out and then yelled for him to get um, Samoa Joe out of there. So I'm not sure if there's going to be a screw job or anything, but uh, this will be an interesting championship match for NXT to take over um, Brooklyn 2. So, hey. Follow Playtime Cares. Go to PlaytimeCares.com and follow me there. You know, subscribe to that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Find me on all social media. You know, I do more than just wrestling recaps. Playtime out. Subscribe at PlaytimeCares.com. I do more than just wrestling recaps. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Find me on all social media. I'm always Playtime Cares.